This may sound crazy, but what if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? Is anything here not falling apart? Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Deceive me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I'm not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. We met up with Andrew's double, Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. Oh, fuck me. We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds of years ago. How you doing? Ago. 
Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't right. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Have makes no sense. I'm good with that. At all. Never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. We could have used one of those, uh, what do you call it? A paladin, a holy warrior. <laughs> holy shit. I never had you down as a game geek. There's a lot more about me you don't know. I'm full of surprises. You'll see. We need to get moving. Dear. I can't believe Taylor's gone. What the fuck? We need to get away from here. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Believe it. This ain't happening. I can't believe Taylor's gone. Can't believe she's gone. If Taylor were here, she'd be yelling at us to keep moving. To make it out. The only way out of this freaking nightmare is to stop Mary, stop her lying. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is, a liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. Come on, let's take a look.
No way in, like the rest of this fucking town. Check this out. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. That now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? Are you for real? The kid is guilty as hell! Just... you must do what you believe is right. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in I'm Little Hope. I'm not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like... She's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. 
Shit! Okay, so now what? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. You agree with him? It went down just like he said. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. the story here. She leave him for some other guy? You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here. Now. That's heavy. Andrew. Get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. We push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Hey, are you okay down there? It's over. He's gone.
That thing looks to have gone, but it could come back any time. We have to keep moving. In the fog there. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? No sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. Our town is infected with madness. Roy, you by Satan's servant. Barely. We have to stop this. Get away. You give me that. Look. See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orp rests in your hands. We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. John, get away from it! I'm done running! Time for payback for Taylor and Daniel! Are you crazy? We gotta move! Come on, you fuck! I'm ready!
Get inside! Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right.
What's that noise? My guess is the girl. We need to find her. She's in here. What do you think you're doing? It's okay. Trust me. Hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vital, will you? Don't be fooled by her, Andrew. No, wait. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her poppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This poppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Andrew, these people have lost their minds. This is collective hysteria, paranoia. We've got to intervene. Stop this somehow. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I don't this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. No question there is something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that Little Hope is afflicted. That darkness has taken hold of our town. There is not a man or woman here today who does not already know the devil is in our midst. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. Our time is not for wasting. He's right. Mary's behind all this. How do I make my decision? If I am wrong, I condemn an innocent to die. The only way I can see out of this is to get rid of that damned doll. Destroy that and... The puppet must be cast asunder. Maybe this all goes away. It is the cause of Mary's affliction. It holds her in its thrall. Destroy this puppet and the devil will depart Mary. She will be restored, an innocent child. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. You must not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences My of her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask. goes the way it's meant to, there's nothing more you can do now. Is that the end of it? I figured that if the doll... And then that would be the end of it. You absolutely did the right thing. What happened was no more than what those people deserved. It's over. We can leave.
I thought I might find you here. <laughs> well, been through the trenches, huh? Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. Nothing but ghosts left here now. Free piece of advice. You stay out of that place. This is what you had. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. About 10 minutes down the road, there's a diner and got a working phone in it. Don't come back. Ain't nothing here for you no more. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! I don't 
don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends on what makes you happy, really. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. <sighs> Till we meet again. Maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again. At least one more time.
believe in God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in it and I was there. In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes. Where they lived on dust and plagued by the demons of the underworld.